Hey guys, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA for a discount at checkout. They have the cheapest coins on the internet and they also do comfort trade which is 100% reliable. They do Xbox and Playstation and as you can see guys, by the prices here you can tell that they are definitely the cheapest out there. Also guys, if you want any information on how it works, go on the how it works section and they'll be sure to help you in any way. They also have 24 hour support though they're able to help you at any point during the day. Hey guys, welcome to Earth to a brand new video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you a good little method that I've found over the last um, couple of hours or so. It's a really, really good method. You want to do this on the console trade and you want to put in team of the season and you want to find the cheapest by now um, of any team of the season card that you can find. And you can see here, we're going to go into here. And they used to be around 26k but they have all dropped because the Prem team of the season has came out. You're going to be looking at around 23k I imagine for these now. So we're going to check here at 23. There's one, we might as well get 23 to 50, we'll just check there. You can see uh, 23 is around the going rate which is a real shame they have dropped but they might have dropped a little bit more by the time you guys get to see this. But this video should be out on Saturday and then Sunday we'll have a trade into R9 hopefully, if not on Monday. Um, you can just sit here basically like this and just keep searching. It's this simple that all you want to do is just keep sniping. And then I've been doing this around two and a half hours. It's gotten harder over the last half an hour or so because um, the team of the season dropped. We took 14 and a half K there. Obviously, that's going to be a hard one to snipe. But like I say, you just keep sniping them and hopefully you do grab a couple eventually. It takes a little bit of time, but I'll show you on my transfer list, guys. You don't want to miss how much I've made. I started this account today with 57K and look at the coins now. So, as you can imagine, it's a very, very good method. Um, just going to go through here. We're going to get a pretty short video today. Nothing too long, nothing informative, because there's not a great deal of stuff to do. I just wanted to show you guys this method, and I'll show you one more after as well. So we'll do this for another minute or so, and just see and show you guys. I'm going to show you my transfer, so I'm going to show you a second method that I'm yet to try, but I know it's going to work. You see here, 12k again. They're so hard to get because they're so cheap. People listen to look ridiculously cheap now, but you can see here, look, 57 items sold, and um, you can guess what they all are. Look at all these. That you can see, they were selling at 25k, 26k, um, some of these um you can see that about 30k for one back there um i think that might have been a pretty decent player i can't remember who it was i'm sure i saw 30k unless i'm blind i don't know what happened there um maybe there wasn't 30k but all these goalkeepers that look at all the undersells this guy was coming up for fun and there's one left which is a bit too high i got over 20k then but you can see um Hopefully it will so long within the hour, if not we'll just drop it back down. But on the second method I'll show you guys is the BPL one here. You see the cheapest BPL play here is around 37k, so there's always going to be a few of them up. But you want to check now here at 35k, and these are all the different players that you could happen to snipe. Um, you can get yourself a Rodri, a Mitchell, a McGinn, um, you can even get yourself a Lloris, Livermento, um, Allison, Rice, um, there's loads of different ones in here that you can get. So we're going to go in here now at like 33k, I think, let's just check his price again, is it 37 um, I'm 30, if go up a little bit actually, maybe, maybe it's 38 run now. Yeah, you'd be able to get more than 37, 750, probably 38, 5. Um, yeah, 38 is the going rate. So you're going to go at 35 here and just sit and snipe them here and list up for 37, I mean 34, 750 to list up for 37, 750. This method will be a lot more contested. There'll be more people doing this method because the friends just came out. And as you can imagine, loads of people will be sitting here doing this probably. Um, so you've got to take that into mind, like an account. Maybe do the other method for a bit. Try this one for a few minutes. Then move back. You might get lucky. You never know. It's just all down to luck, like I say. You never know who's sniping at the time. You might be faster than them. You might be slower. You never know. So we'll just keep searching here now. And as you can imagine, guys, we're going to struggle at this time. It's like 7 p.m. It's going to be difficult. You want to do this guys in the early hours if you're basically pretty slow at sniping like me i'm not that fast anymore like you say i'm on 50 deals or so but it was when the team of the season first dropped that you know when the prem first dropped everyone on the team of the season they're all over in the packs there's loads and loads coming up but it's usually like they say i mean 300k a day so it's usually 500k in a day method i, mean, I guarantee i'm able to get to 500k by the end of the day i mean there's still five hours left it'll be very easy maybe even more but yeah guys thanks so much if you have enjoyed please you drop a like also guys please sub if you're new it'll be really appreciated and i will see you guys very soon with another